Uh, Matt. What? Spill in the toilet. Good morning and welcome to another video. And we are in Villanova, baby. In case you missed my last video, we've come away for a week on holiday to a little town called Villanova. It's in Spain, it's near Barcelona. Before you asked, we're fine. We weren't involved in the attacks the other day, so don't panic about that, and we're perfectly safe. Um, we're staying in an Airbnb place, which is freaking unbelievably good. I'm gonna put it out there and say that it's possibly the best Airbnb we've ever stayed in. We use Airbnb all the time. Cannot recommend it enough. It's just freaking awesome. That's like my main travel tip, but we're really big on traveling. We travel pretty much every school holiday. And if you stay in an Airbnb, you'll get like an awesome place for the same cost as you'd get like a pretty crappy hotel and it's so good. Plus, if you get like an apartment or a house or whatever, the person that will let you in will give you all the local tips and show you where to go and stuff and they're always really friendly. I'll actually put the link to this Airbnb in the description in case you wanna come to this area. I definitely would recommend staying here because it is incredible. Now we're here for a week, like I said. I've already trained, so today is a rest day. If you watched my last video, I showed a bit of training there. The gym I found was pretty decent, which was a bit of a result. That video was a little bit kind of all over the place because we. It was the first day we got here so I was trying to sort things out plus it was a bit of a disaster uh, trying to get stuff organized but today we're a lot more settled now there's no train to interrupt things so it's gonna be a nice uh, like laid-back Spanish themed day of eating so uh, I'm up everyone or most people are outside kind of chilling by the pool there so we're gonna get ourselves ready and we're gonna go and get some breakfast and we're at stop one now this place is pretty much the greatest place I've ever seen now you yeah, thought yeah. you thought you knew what a bargain was, right? Trust me, you didn't. Because here, right, I'm gonna show these ones. Where are they? These ones, right? They they're filled with custard. They're filled with chocolate. What are they filled with? Mystery contents, right? And nuts. And nuts. Three of them for one euro fifty. Are you freaking kidding me? Right, let's go and get them. <laughs> Also, my Spanish is very, very strong, so I can pretty much talk fluently. Sit. Strong. Thank you. You got it. I know that is. Fifteen sixty, I believe. Thank you. Gracias. Coffee. Uh, caliente? Si. Si. Take away that one. Oh. I know. I was making sure you knew. Caliente. Uh, hot milk for everyone? Yeah? Hot. Si. It's getting a bit awkward now. <laughs> right, so we've come to the beach to eat our stuff. We've got a coffee, which I've mostly finished to be fair. And then, uh, I think this is a custard one now. There's like, there was three options. It's a custard one, a chocolate one, and then like a miscellaneous one. So I'm hoping it's custard. If it's not, then it's gonna be a disaster. Yes! Sorry, look at this. There's the custard inside. Pretty sweet. It's got like nuts, uh, ice and sugar and stuff. Just to reiterate, three of these for 150. Holy freaking crap. Also, it's quite like windy, so I apologize if you can't hear what I'm saying, but if you can't hear what I'm saying, I'll just do the actions. Okay, I'm um, gonna finish these, hang out for a bit, and then head back home because the baby's gonna get tired soon. home now we're gonna hang out by the pool and then grab some lunch uh, Matt. what spill in the pool up <laughs> and lunch is ready and it looks pretty freaking sweet so we've got some of these, these are called peaches. Actually, they're not the nectarines, aren't they? Oh, Ollie's just getting a little mock thumb now. Nailed Check. it, nailed it. Salad, olives, mmm, delicious. Whoa! 
some sick cheese salami, ham, meat, mix, uh, carrots, tomatoes, bread, crisp selection, <laughs> watermelon. As always, no mess to be found here. Actually, pretty tidy to be fair, Luca. What is happening to your hair? Sweet hairstyle, bruh. That's better. Is that nice, Luca? Mmm, delicious. Chorizo, cheese, and crisps. Like what are you saying? <laughs> Lunch is over. I ate a pretty good amount of food. I'm really mindful of trying to get enough calories in because I have a tendency when I go away to lose weight where I'm like out doing stuff and not really thinking about food so much. And obviously, it's hot, so you get dehydrated. So today, I'm going to make a concerted effort to get a lot of food in. So I ate like a good four sandwiches, then loads of crisps and snacks and stuff. I'm now moving on to dessert. Now, if you watch my last video, uh, one of the uh, disasters of the day were these kind of terrible uh, disintegrating donuts. Turns out they brought two back, two boxes of them. So like, I've eaten probably three. It's hard to tell because they're in pieces. I mean, they look really bad, but they're honestly pretty nice. So I'm gonna try and get this box done today, uh, which is gonna mean that, calorie wise, like, I had four pastries for breakfast, then all those sandwiches, a box of donuts, probably get something else before dinner, so I mean technically it's a cheat day because I'm trying to get more calories than I would ordinarily, but I'm going to try from tomorrow onwards just to try and eat a good kind of consistent amount because the worst thing I could do is get home and I've lost loads of weight because I'm going to get home on the Tuesday and then I'm testing my maxes from the Wednesday onwards, so I need to make sure I'm kind of coming in at normal weight, if not maybe fractionally heavier. Oh, we've got an awesome plan. I'll tell you like, a bit later on, but we've got an awesome kind of Spanish theme plan for dinner. But uh, yeah, get a bit of work done. We might go out again uh, before the babies have the second naps. Uh, we'll see. Oh, you've had that one. Needed a bloody eight, you can get one. Well, you jump there. I'll make you guys jump there. Um, so these are some native where are we again? Spain. So native Spain, Spanish, Spanish. sweets. Spanish. Spanish. Uh, what are they called, sir? I hurt mm. my finger. Damn! Oh. Like, yeah. But no, I've actually never seen that before. That's a banana, but it's like a fizzy banana. It's like a Haribo sour type thing, but a banana. No, it's still waiting for you to have Sorry. Let's just film to see how long it takes you to have a go. Is that a rest on you? What? You haven't even picked up? I've just picked up since then. You've just oh. picked up my cards. Yeah, because you've just taken them. We are out and about. Everyone is up ahead. The trip has started off well. So basically, uh, what's happening now is that uh, the Airbnb we're staying in the people that own it were really, really kind and they've invited us to go to like a, it's called a paella experience, which I imagine is just like eating paella. So we're heading there now. Uh, I'm gonna pick up like a couple of bottles of wine as like a little kind of thank you token gesture. Um, should be sick, see you there. We made it and this place is pretty freaking awesome. Full fountain thing, flamingo, uh, everything you need. Right, hungry, let's get some paella. <laughs> Oh, hi, Luca. One train. So you start in the morning at 9 o'clock and... Uh... Right, so the paella is kind of like ready to start getting cooked. We've got loads of awesome stuff to go in and size those. Uh, rice is there. We're doing it on the barbecue because this is like authentic Spanish paella style. So let's get a uh, live paella preparation process. Pretty much done. Right, we're in. So this is the finished article. It looks pretty astounding. Right, so uh, saw me through it. So we got some uh, special sausages here. What else we got? Salsicha. Uh huh. Keep keep it coming. Keep it coming. Prawns. The size of that prawn. Look at the prawn. <laughs> oh my god, his head's falling off. That is a big old prawn. Uh, there's like chicken. There. What's what is that chicken as well? That's chicken, right? Okay, pork, chicken, 
Uh, it's like m uh, muscle, is clam, muscle? clam. Oh, damn, I don't know anything. Uh, rice, <laughs> main element of any paella. And the gazpacho. Oh, and a Lovely. Gazpacho soup, no biggie. Right, here we go. Oh, that is absolutely revolting. <laughs> Joking, psych. It's amazing. It's really, really good. Right, that was really good. <laughs> The powder is done, it's now for dessert, got some figs which they grow literally just over there and then some ice cream. Dinner is over, we're just walking back home now, it's like a 20 minute walk. Walking down it was like friggin boiling and I was sweating out but now it's much cooler, it's actually quite a, I never thought it was actually quite an enjoyable walk. Um, the food was so good, my god, I had like a massive amount of paella, so much rice. It was really, really good. I had that fig and ice cream thing afterwards, which was like quite a small bit. It was very rich and again, was really good. Just an awesome, awesome evening. We're getting home now because it's really late for the babies to go to bed, but it was definitely worth it. Um, that was really kind of those guys. They just, they offered us to, to come and do that off their own back. So really, really appreciate that. But yeah, we're going to go home. Uh, so I'll see you there. Whoa. Eating nectarine lying down is a big risk, but I like to live on the edge. A bit like James Bond in that respect. Um, right, it's late, it's dark, everyone's gone to bed and escaped me off. I'm still going because I've got a few like client check-ins to do, which kind of sucks because I'm on holiday, but also it allows me to have this lifestyle, so I friggin' really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I've got a nectarine. I've had just finished 30 grams of whey with 5 grams of creatine and water. Uh, I'm going to finish the rest of these, which are really, really good, by the way. And also finish the rest of these, like Spanish Haribo type things, which are pretty decent too. And that's going to wind up my day of eating. It's been like a cheat day, but kind of like a, not a crazy one, you know, like a fit, not, obviously not really healthy as such, but I've eaten some pretty good stuff, like the pie that was really, really good. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end it here. So I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>